All right, welcome to the garage, everybody. Um, today, I thought I would show you the uh, the race car fuel system, and um, we're going to start with the fuel cell. I got this from Summit. Um, they make a real nice anodized one, and um, I had that in an old car. I actually, sold that, and um, I picked up this one. This is a little lower cost, of course, because it's not anodized. The other thing I noticed about this is that. Um, the uh, the fuel cell it has some foam in it it's about halfway halfway filled with foam it keeps it from the fuel from sloshing so much um, and the the anodized one it's about two thirds of the way filled with foam so um, if that's something that worries you yeah you might, might want to keep that in mind but um, what we got here is uh, we got the fuel cell it's mounted on four points here two here and two in the back and um, the rules say that it has to be encapsulated and everything, uh, you know, strapped down. So uh, I built this frame, and uh, the frame helps protect it in case of a real bad crash or anything. Um, the floor of the trunk can wrinkle and all that, but uh, the frame should stay uh, together pretty well. And then uh, made this strapping that goes and ties in three different places. Um, I use these uh, these body clips. So there's no nut on the end of it. This just clips over a metal tab. Um, then, you know, used an old body bolt down through here. Kept everything metric because the, it's a metric car. So um, that just makes it a little bit easier to, to do maintenance on. And um, once I would disconnect the fuel lines, um, literally within about two minutes, I can have this entire unit out of the car. That way, if I need to do any repairs or any welding, anything like that, I can get the fuel system out of the car. Uh, just with a cordless impact, one, two, three. Once I pull that strap up and off, then um, then there's the four four bolts. Um, there's also body clips underneath here. These are some old bolts that help hold the doors on, I'm trying to reuse things as much as we can because we're on a budget. Um, want to just check this out up here um, this is your return line this is the uh, the vent line and um, this is all and this is, of course is the the fuel feed line but this is all plumbed into the factory fuel system and um, there's some safety features in here that I included of course we have the line coming out and around I, I use some of the corrugated zip wrap that they put on from the factory to, uh, to help protect this from any abrasion we have some quick connect fittings here, and I'm going to get into that a little bit later. But um, we have the fuel um, fuel filter on here. If uh, if you have an eagle eye, you'll notice this fuel filter is actually backwards. I had my uh, stepson's helping me, and uh, wasn't paying attention too much, and um, stuck this on backwards. So I have to get another one. It, it, I was actually ran the car like this, and uh, it seemed fine and everything. But I am going to get another one, turn that around, um, then. Uh, so the fuel goes through here and then down into the uh, into the pump and this is just a um, a generic pump it uh, spent about about ninety or hundred dollars on it from uh, the auto supply store um, uh, I think the at advanced auto the part number is e3000 and um, we have the electrical lines coming back and the factory sends the power lead and a ground back to the pump and um, so we hooked that up, and it, so it's grounded under, underneath the dash, but I also included a ground back here in case it would lose that ground, you know, through vibration or whatnot, it would have this one, or if you lost this one, I'd have the one underneath underneath the hood. And periodically, I just check those, uh, make sure they're okay. Um, the pump comes with this foam, I guess for sound insulation, but I used it so um, whenever I'm mounting it here, I just use some zip ties to mount it, and uh, I can move around a little bit, but not too much. Uh, that helps keep from actually rubbing on the fuel pump itself. If you look real close here, you'll see a little piece of black plastic. Uh, this is like the racer's plastic. Usually buy it, it's a two foot wide um, piece of plastic and then you buy it by the foot. And uh, just heated that up a little bit and uh, bent it around this, this tubing here so that um, it's not metal to metal contact here with the the fuel filter so um, through time it won't won't rub through so this is a sacrificial piece underneath here and just use the zip ties to tie it in um, now the the fuel lines that you see here um, you know we're on a tight budget so um, if you, you know, and uh, this is a Cavalier 
But um, if you go to the salvage yard, you'll see um, uh, some old fuel rails, and these are the, actually the fuel lines. This is the feed line, and this is a return line from an old fuel rail. Snip those off, and um, use the, the regular uh, fuel injection clamps here. You know, these are like the high pressure clamps that it fully encir encircles the, the hose, and uh, double clamped it. So make sure it stays uh, stays nice and safe. But um, cut these uh, feed lines and return lines off an old fuel rail and um, incorporated them into the fuel system. And uh, rather than buy uh, real like special, I, I priced the hose. It's really expensive per foot, and I would have to put these fittings on it anyway. So um, the factory one already comes with a fitting here. Uh, we use the barb fitting down here, and um, then I had to buy this this uh, quick connect fitting here. Now um, this is a, uh, a 3 8 hose that's the feed line for the stock fuel system. This is the return hose that's 5 16 The pump has a 5 16 inlet and outlet and um, I was a little worried that it might not be able to get enough fuel but for a four cylinder it's absolutely wonderful. It works perfect. Um, now this this quick connect fitting it is 3 8 that's what's on the filter and uh, in order to get this into a 5 16 line you can do it uh, you gotta make sure you put those clamps on first or else if you're done but um, uh, what I did is I just uh, sprayed this very liberally with some WD-40 and you have to really really wrench it and uh, really push it push hard but you can get it in there and uh, it's sealed up quite nice and um, and we used another uh, factory line back here. Um, I got the light on. I hope you guys can see this okay. But uh, this is another factory line here. It goes out through a hole that I drilled in the body. Now, whenever you're, you know, this is just sheet tin. So whenever you cut a hole in that, um, yeah, of course, it leaves a sharp edge. You don't want a sharp edge there. So I took a piece of uh, one and three quarter inch roll cage tubing, put it in, put it through the hole, and then tack welded it. So there was no sharp edge and then um, this grommet right here is actually from uh, on, on the car where uh, where you open the door and the wiring harness leads from the car to the main part of the of the car to the door uh, there's a big end and a small end this is actually the small end this will be like a corrugated piece right here but I cut that off and uh, it fit right inside that one and three quarter inch tubing perfectly just use some some silicone put that in there and then uh, there's another one underneath the car um, that keeps it from from touching any metal or anything like that so I don't have to worry about abrasion or anything like that and um, um, that goes down actually hooks right to the factory fuel, uh, fuel system in fact it has the factory fuel filter on it and uh, the the uh, the return line and the vent line these go down through another hole back here um, these hook into the factory the factory fuel system and um, I, I used some zip ties here made like a little harness to keep these from vibrating around and, and rattling around and, and everything uh, if you've never seen this it's real simple to do uh, you wrap a zip tie around it this way laterally and uh, you leave it loose and then you put one through the middle and uh, you pull that one down to where it's it's nice and snug and then you just pull these ones and it makes like a nice little harness and uh, holds those hoses together so I thought that was pretty cool, and uh, where it comes out of the uh, where it comes out of the uh, well, this would be the the uh, the return here where it goes in, and then of course the outlets down here. I used uh, Air Equip uh, fittings. They are expensive. They are very expensive, but uh, well worth the money. Um, I, I've never had any problems with leaks or you know the smell of gas in a car. Um, even, even was in a rollover with this and um, in a rollover video which um, I'll link I'll put a link to that in the uh, in the description but um, in the rollover video uh, you can hear some of the safety guys saying that uh, there was there was fuel leaking uh, that actually wasn't fuel that was um, battery acid that was the battery was behind my seat and, it, and the rollover broke the box that the battery was in and uh, it allowed it to leak out and I thought that uh, well they, they the safety guys thought it was fuel and um, got out of, the, out of the car in a hurry later I found out it wasn't fuel it was um, it was from the battery but um, I thought this was pretty neat. Um, 
I mean, with uh, within just a couple minutes, I can take this entire system apart, pull completely off the car. Uh, there's a special little tool you clamp and slide down in there, and you can pop this off. And the uh, these um, quick connect fittings that I got at the auto supply store, they have this little sleeve here. You just push that in, this will pop right off. And you do get a little bit of fuel spillage, but um, as long as you hold this up, it helps to, helps to have a, a helper here. And uh, so we're going to get a new fuel filter later today. But I um, thought I'd just take a couple minutes and, uh, and show you guys what this looks like. Um, went through uh, safety inspection at several different tracks. Every, everybody uh, said it looked fine. And um, you'd have to check with your, with your track rules to make sure something like this would be within the rules. But um, I tried to think about things that, that, you know, the worst case scenario, really holding it in there quite strong. And... Uh, um, like I said, I've been in a bad accident with a system just like this, and, and it was fine. So uh, if you found this interesting, um, go ahead and uh, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing, and uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, have a great day.